hi guys hello how is everybody so this is carol suji once again with another interesting video so i welcome you all into this video and um, today it's gonna be something very nice we're gonna learn and before we jump into the video if you have not subscribed please subscribe share the video leave me a sweet comment and like the video and guys welcome let's do this so <sighs> today i'm going to talk about um how to self-care for anxiety depression symptoms like these are things that um, we feel like, hmm, am I really anxious? Do I have depression? Do I have those kind of things? I want us today to learn because I told you I'm taking you into a journey. And in this journey, we are going to move together. So everything that helps me, I'm going to share with you. And just a disclaimer before i start i want to say that these things that i tell you are the things that i am practicing and the things that have worked for me all i'm trying so i am not a doctor and i am not a, a physician or anything it's just the things that have worked for me and i feel like Okay, I can share with my subscribers and uh, maybe somebody will get helped there. But if you have a problem, if you have something that you feel like uh, you need to see your physician, your doctor, please do that and get helped. So I'm going to share with you uh, like 10 things that have really uh, helped me go through this uh, journey as i have been telling you guys these times are tough and things are happening every day and we are like what is going on you know and some things are even coming to us and we do not understand especially when you talk about something like depression many people even don't think they are depressed or they don't even know that uh, they are depressed so a, a few tips that uh, i want to share with you and i know we shall be blessed uh, together so the first thing is that uh, make sure you have a good sleep yes sleep is very important because it helps you be able to conquer the following day and when you're you've slept enough you are able to uh, produce more like you can do more when you have uh, you have had a, a good sleep and maybe you are one of those people that maybe wakes up very early your days like your day starts very early if you have a chance it is also good uh, maybe to take a nap maybe 30 minutes nap and just to unwind uh everything that has been going on and just to give yourself uh, and your mind a break so it is always good uh, to take a nap and also to sleep well at least six to eight hours are good to go and uh, you will be good the following day the other thing is uh, take shower and use products that give you the best vibe yes when you wake up early in the morning maybe not even early in the morning let's uh talk of maybe especially those people who do not go to work uh far you maybe you are doing uh your work at home don't wake up the moment that maybe uh you are supposed to log in or the moment that you are supposed to to start your job and just start with your night dresses your night gown just because nobody is seeing you just because uh nobody is uh, uh close to you that will know how you are taking a shower is something that will give you energy like take shower be fresh 
you will be very fresh and you'll be able uh, to be productive. You take shower and also use a good product that smell good because when the shower is smelling good, do you know, I don't know if it happens to you guys. Uh, I was talking to somebody. I had not put that thing into my mind until I shared it with somebody and I was like, you know what, when I'm taking shower, especially in the morning, I get to have new ideas. I don't know if that is something that happens to you guys. If it happens to you, comment down below. Let me know. How, what do you think? Is it true that uh, you get some new ideas whenever uh, you are in the shower? Because sometimes for me it happens and I get to have these new ideas like what I want to do and maybe uh, something new comes up in my mind. So I know many people like singing and uh, you know in the shower and comment down below let me know what happens to you yeah the other uh uh part is that uh uh dress up yeah like just dress dress up nicely and uh, the way you feel you are comfortable enough and either if you do makeup do your makeup if do your hair like comp your hair put it nicely in a way that you will not even feel uh like maybe you want to go outside maybe somebody calls you outside and you're like oh i don't want to go because of the way you look uh you feel like you're not presentable enough or maybe you feel like uh, this is not what you want when you're dressing up it is something that uh, gives you another vibe it gives you another energy uh, because you're looking good and you're feeling good so your day will be productive and your mind will be stable so you will not have something to think about like this is not right or i wasn't expecting either visitor or maybe like it gives you uh, a good uh, vibe the other thing is for me i listen to music when maybe I feel like um, I'm kind of thinking too much or maybe I'm not feeling right. You know, there are those days that you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't even want to see anybody. You do not want even to hear anything. You do not want to see like you are just down. So for me, I turn on the music that I love and I just listen to that music it gives me uh, a good spirit and it makes me conquer uh, that day also it is also good to drink fluids yes drink enough fluids throughout the day especially water water is good i know many people do not like uh, to drink water but i think i'll make a video because i remember i was sharing with somebody and uh, they were saying that, that the water tastes like I don't like the taste of the water. And I'm like, you know what? I also didn't like the taste. And I think I'll share with you guys and show you how I spice up my water so that I will be able to take a lot of water uh, during the day. Because also water helps you even not to be bloated. Because you know when you are bloated, uh, you feel like you are not yourself. Your stomach is giving you troubles like, I don't know, sometimes you feel like you are not comfortable even to be in front of people because of how your stomach maybe is making noise or, you know, such kind of thing. So water will help uh, deal with that. And also it is also good to drink hot water, like not very hot, like water that you can be able to drink, which is warm and you can be able to uh, drink that uh, uh, water so the other point is that uh, it's a point that i didn't know about and since i started doing it i'm seeing some progress a friend just uh, told me about it like uh, near ago and it's i usually i could hear people talk about it but i was like how how do you do that like <laughs> how does it happen or how do you go about it? So it is a uh, writing uh, journal. Like when you're writing, you just l write anything that is in your mind, anything that is in your heart. Maybe it is something that is making like 
you feel so uh, low or maybe it's something that uh, uh, you want to accomplish or something you just write you write anything you in your journal you just write anything that is in your mind when you are like you just keep quiet and you're like this is what is i'm thinking you just put it down like you write it it helps uh, unwind uh, your mind and also you get to get out the things that are in your heart the other thing is to eat healthy oh my god this is hard uh yes it is hard uh it's something that uh, most people struggle with it is not like hard it is doable but by the time you get into that without stealing like without sneaking uh some other junk it is uh hard it's a little bit hard but it is something that is doable so many people have done it and as myself i am really trying i am trying and especially when you have a family because when you have a family you are cooking for them maybe they do not want to take the diet that you yourself you are taking and by the time you try to convince them so that you can be able to be eating healthy together as a family it is sometimes uh, challenging so it is something that i'm trying to fight but it is coming up uh, well so the other thing is good this is my best be around people who think positively about you and the people that love you for who you are this is a a deal like whenever you are uh, with people that uh, talk bad about you okay like they are always discouraging they they may not necessarily be talking bad about you but they are always discouraging any point that you come up with they are dis- like they are like no that one is not doable you cannot do that you cannot see it like that way you cannot dress up like that you cannot like they are not even willing to tell you in a good way they just want to see the bad part of you that is what they are viewing about you leave them don't stay around such kind of people stay around uh, people that are positive people that are thinking good about you and even if they have to correct you they are using the right uh, way to do it it's with love they are doing it like the people that loves you and they are like you know what um i don't think the dress that you're wearing is going with the style of the hair that you have or maybe with the shoes that you're wearing why don't you try you see something nice like somebody who is telling you something nice it's not like somebody who will just tell you oh oh my god i wish you didn't even wear that dress i wish you did not even comb your hair like that i wish you never put on that makeup i know something or some people who just want to see you low so it is also good uh, to be away from those kind of people how oh, avoid being alone most of the times when you are suffering from depression or anxiety sometimes you feel like you just want to be alone you want people to leave you alone you do not want to share anything you don't want to see people you think you are the failure or maybe you think you are the only person that is going through all this so what i would advise i would say that don't stay uh, alone uh, most of the time try to find friends or even family or even just try to find something that you can able to do the other thing my last point is read your bible or meditate for those who meditate i find the bible being the most interesting story book that i've ever seen or i've ever come across the bible has very interesting stories you can read it and as you read it you get verses that will always up your spirit they will lift your spirit they will show you that there is that person that is thinking about you because the bible tells us that god even if uh, our parents our friends our siblings our children leave us god will never be away from us it is always uh, good to be close to god and 
always present your fears uh, to him and also the uh, exercising i would say that it is good to exercise i know yes you don't have la like to do like go for a gym or to the gym sorry to the gym you can do some there are some things that you can do from your house and also especially when you are oh uh, uh you have uh, symptoms of depression and all this it is good to take a walk okay this is what has helped me because i usually take walks especially in the morning or in the evening just take a walk to uh bring you you go see nature and see other people see cars see everything like you just appreciate nature out there and your mind will be positive uh by the time uh you come back to your house everything will be good you will want to do an extra uh thing so thank you so much guys for coming and thank you for watching my videos i'm always inspired by you guys for the support that you are giving me and if you've not if you like the video please like share and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and it is always good to share when you get uh, these informations because this is how we learn we learn from other people who have gone through this stuff and uh, they really help us so thank you so much guys and see you on my next one bye